Hello Mallards! It is Friday and as promised I am here to talk about call six and seven with Lennox Mutual. So I had the opportunity this past week to do not one but two calls with Lennox Mutual. I actually tried to do four calls all in the same day and they emailed me to tell me that that was not a good idea and to ask me to change. Uh, so I shifted some of my calls around and so I did two this week. Call number six was with Sasha and as far as I know, I have never spoken to Sasha. I have certainly never spoken to this Sasha. My last note just says, Sasha is great. I really enjoyed this call, which is interesting because I couldn't get into directions. And directions is my favorite part. I love directions. And I said, I want to do directions. And Sasha was like, there aren't directions. I'm going to sort of over explain your journey through the sewers a little bit so that you can get some flavor, but then I'm going to send you back. Uh, so I couldn't really explore everything that I wanted to explore there. But that was fine because I did have the opportunity to go to documentation and try the Jubilee password and listen to a documentation about the hours of operation development essentially minutes from a meeting, which was really interesting. Like I found that really cool. I think documentation is something I will spend more time in if I can gather more passwords. But as mentioned, I don't like to use the Reddit to like take other people's stuff. I like to just like sort of see what I can figure out on my own. So I might see if I can figure out other passwords. I did then say I'd forgotten my password and was asked what my uh, like hint question was and I said I didn't know so next time I'm just gonna make up a hint question and uh, see what I can get uh, with documentation I also went to hours of operation because I'd learned a lot about its development so I went and Sasha played music and maybe sang to me unclear but hours of operation development did tell me that singing was part of it so it might have been Sasha singing and then I tried to leave a complaint with the complaint department and provided a callback number and then I went to promotional offers where I was gonna maybe play tic-tac-toe but I ran out of time so no tic-tac-toe for me but I had a fantastic time and then for call seven I had Gabriel uh, and I went immediately to directions as I often do and unlike the previous time, so in call six, I couldn't get into directions and I did a lot of other stuff. In call seven, I did nothing but directions and my call ran long. And I don't know if that's because I really got talking to the geomancer, if it's the way that this particular performer does the show or what happened, but we were really chatting I had a very enjoyable time, but it was really funny for me. So I finally like moved forward in directions. So I had left behind the paladin and I was now with the geomancer who was showing me some stuff and we were talking about time and how time is used, what you can do with time, the differences in time. He told me a fable about twin sisters, which was really interesting. And I really liked that like story within a story within a story. But my favorite part was that the Geomancer clearly has absolutely no love for the Paladin. And so the fact that I went hardcore Paladin because playing with Josephine like made me love the Paladin uh, has made the Geomancer not my friend. Uh, and so we had a little bit of a little bit of contention there, which was really fun for me. Like it was I had a very enjoyable time, but it was really funny. And so the Geometer and I like... I, I think I say Geomancer, it's Geometer. I just get them confused. Also, I just want it to be a Mancer. I don't know why. Geometer, the Geometer who studies geometry, but time is a big thing for them, not just space. He was impressed by the fact that I would just admit to not knowing things, which I guess a lot of people pretend they know stuff. And I do not do that. I am in games like this and in shows like this and in stuff like this classically a follower, somebody who's dedicated to the character's mission that I am participating in. 
So I tend to not pretend to know things that I don't know. I like to ask questions and get them to tell me stuff. Uh, and so it was really fun. And I did eventually get a piece of paper with a map to the forest and a path to the alchemist. And then I was told that time is about perspective. And then uh, my time was up, very, very up. Uh, and I was said goodbye to. So it was two very different calls, like one that was no directions. And so I got to explore some other stuff and one that was only directions. And generally speaking, my calls have been directions and then like five or six minutes to like mess around and maybe go to something else. Uh, so it was kind of wild that this got so crazy, but I am so excited about where directions is going that I really actually don't care very much about the rest of the company. I have started, as you noticed, to take notes. Uh, the other thing that I've started to do is before my call, I make a list of like things I wanna try or things I might be interested in. Uh, and so I asked to ask their name. I'm putting that every time now because apparently people want you to know who you're talking to. I don't care, but Megan wants to know, so I'm asking. And then directions, and then I usually have other stuff. And so then I'll highlight, like, if I didn't get to it, I don't highlight it, so it moves on. And if it didn't work, I'll highlight it red. And if I got to it, I highlight it green so that I know what I want to do in my next call. And in my next call, if I only get to directions, that's okay. I have priorities and they are directions. So I've been having a lot of fun with Lennox Mutual. It's grown on me for sure. It's a very fun show and I absolutely 100% We'll be going at least two more times, might do a few more than that. And then who knows, but it has certainly kickstarted my little brain, like brrr, trying to think about things that we could do if we do a phone call show. So thanks to everybody who does Lennox Mutual for providing such a fun and immersive experience. Sorry to the geometer for A, calling you a geomancer all the time, maybe even to your face, and also for liking the paladin more than you. But I have not yet met the Vagabond, and I'm pretty sure they're going to be my favorite. Like, there's just no way that I'm not head over heels for the Vagabond, and I just give up on everybody else. So we'll see when we get there. But it has been a fun journey thus far, and I can't wait for my next call, which I will tell you all about when I see you. But for now... I'm going to try and eat some dinner and go to bed and I'll see you tomorrow.